Imagine you've done everything right your entire life. Studied hard, worked hard, maybe even graduated at the top of your class, only to suddenly face the threat of deportation to a country that you know nothing about. American youth don't know what the immigrants at that time had to go through when it comes in a land, a strange land, good land. Immigrant children and children of immigrant parents from the Caribbean often struggle with two cultures without fully identifying with either group. They come to know the norms, values, and customs their parents promote on one hand and those promoted by American culture on the other hand. These two cultures are often viewed as opposing each other, a situation which is culture clash. Now because we're uh, children of immigrant parents, we were taught don't do anything to attract the, the law. For me, I had heard in Haiti that America was a land that was completely clean and beautiful and you could find gold on the streets and everything was going to be wonderful. And so I, like many other immigrants, thought about the American dream. I think I was raised in the right town at the right time. Perhaps if I was in Sanford, Florida, for example, as a young Haitian American, I wouldn't accomplish anything because things would be very difficult. There would be a lot of barriers. Coming from the Caribbean, um, a lot of us never knew what uh, race disparity was. Uh, we've always had a class system in, in the Caribbean. They had a they had a beat up day for Haitians and um, one for Jamaicans and one for Latin. So it wasn't so easy to really admit that you were Haitians. A lot of the students were afraid because that also meant you weren't popular or also meant that, um, you know, you were different. When people try to label you, they kind of have a hard time. It's like, you're not black, you're Haitian. Well, I am black and Haitian, but does black have to be synonymous with African American? Black is black. <laughs> I think many Caribbean Americans, even when they come to the United States, sometimes live in African American communities. And if they don't live specifically in an African American community, they often live in a, in a diverse and mixed community. So they see the, um, the different type of struggles that are, exist even here as African Americans. Sometimes, yeah, I do feel like I'm torn between the two cultures because you want to know where your roots are. And as I was growing up, my parents tried to keep me as American as possible so I could be accepted by the Americans. But it turns out, Americans really don't accept you. Because we very quickly will set ourselves up against others or use a term like culture clash. You know, it's this negative, there's a separation, there's a chasm between groups, whether it's between Jamaicans and Haitians, which fought all the time growing up, you know, or whether it's between all the minorities and the, there's just constant divisions. 